Yesterday, bro. That was kind of interesting. That was kind of hey. Anyways, you had something to tell him, Jaden? Did I? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I did. <clears throat> that indoor drum line was lit, bro. Thank you for, uh, yeah. Thank you. But we, ha we haven't even gotten into the indoor drum line. That's what's next. Right, Mr. Orr? Right on. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's get straight to it. Indoor drumline is an activity that's not is new to us, but it's not new to the state or to the region. It's been going on since the early 90s. Um, there was a circuit called the Minnesota Percussion Association that was uh, formed around that time. And they brought drumlines from essentially marching band, which traditionally perform outdoors, inside during the winter. And they perform inside gymnasiums and they've become very theatrical, they've become intimate, they've become uh, a little bit of a performance art. And so we decided to start one this year for the first time at Rosemont High School. This year's show is called On a Roll. And I decided it was an apt title considering um, our, our marching band, our band program's been doing very well and we've been on a roll, so to speak. The season's been going great. Um, we've had about a dozen rehearsals so far um, we've had one competition, one exhibition performance, and really looking forward to our next competition, which is at Eden Prairie High School. And then we're performing at the Minnesota Percussion Association prelims and finals event, which is at Burnsville High School, and then at Mariucci Arena at the University of Minnesota. I'm looking forward to seeing how the show progresses and uh, how we do. Hey Rosemont, and welcome back to What's Doing. Tomorrow there is no school, but there is a senior party crafts at 2 p.m. in the student center. Saturday, the craft sale starts at 12 p.m. and is again in the Student Center. Monday is the first day of trimester three and there's an SAT meeting at 7.30 in the conference room and a band concert rehearsal at 5 in the Flex Studio. On Tuesday, there's a choir concert at 5 in the choir room as well as a speech meeting at 6 in the IMC. And finally, on Wednesday, there's an ACT meeting at 8 a.m. in the conference room. Thanks for watching, Rosemont. Uh, that was What's Doing. Stay tuned for some more events. Wait, is that the end of it? What am I supposed to say? Mmm, I hear the sound of a food review. Let's get right into it. <laughs> It's food review time, come on, grab your friends, we're going to very tasty lands with Connor the big boy and Blayton the small boy, the eating will never end, it's food review time. Hey, it's your boys Connor and Clayton. Today we're going to be trying out some french fries from the best places in the Let's go to it. We got McDonald's, we got Burger King, and Arby's, some of the best places around. Mm, I like myself some good fries. Oh yeah, let's go. 
All right, here we go now. We got McDonald's, Arby's, and Burger King. Which one should we go with first? I think we should go like that. Oh, oh, oh. First we have McDonald's. Now let's try these. These are a smaller fry. You notice how like a greasy, like a greasiness like coats your mouth. Yeah, it's got a little coating of the grease. It's got a ton of salt on there. So if salt is what you like on your fries, go with these ones right here. A ton of salt on. It. Love it. I think it's a decent fry. I'll eat it. I give it four and a half garb peeled out of ten. Overall, not bad though. Not, yeah, not bad. It's, it's a good fry. All right, on to the next fry. All right, now we got Arby's here. Some of the best curly fries around. Yeah, I can't compete. I, I really like curly fries. Mm. Oh my. There's a ton of more flavor to this. This is really good. Yeah, the flavor is definitely true with that one. The McDonald's one had the salt and the grease. This one, we give a seven leprechaun out of ten on that. On to the next one. All right, now it's time for four. We got the crowns here. These are definitely bigger than the McDonald's fries. Mm. It's definitely got less salt than the McDonald's ones, but there's less flavor than the Arby's ones. I think we only have to give this uh, two Kim Jong Un's out of ten. All right, so here. We got the Arby's fries, which we gave a 7 out of 10 leprechauns. We gave the McDonald's fries, 5 out of 10 Garfields. And we gave the Burger Kings, the 2 out of 10 Kim Jong Uns. Arby's is the winner. But what are we going to do next time for food review? I don't know. Well, you guys will have to check in next time. So, what do we do now? Hey Rosemont, it's Jalen. So now I'm gonna pass it on to my boy Gary. That was a good story, wasn't it? And I'm here to introduce the recap of last trimester. This trimester. Alright, thank you. And um Jaden's gone, but this is the end of the show. Hope y'all enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.